Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 15-EH0003 and in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up, how you can replace or remove your battery for these models. It's really easy, you can do it under 5 to 10 minutes. I'll try to leave the link for the new battery in my video description if you guys want to purchase. Alright. Um, if your battery is not holding any charge or holding less, it's the same thing. You might want to replace your battery. So first thing first, you want to power up the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. Now, the tools that you're going to be needing, it's an screwdriver set. As always, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. And we're going to be using a Phillips number zero from this tool set. If you want to get the pro version of this one, I'll leave the link in my video description if you need. It comes with an opening tools and tweezers and some other extra tools that you will be needing in the future. But if you don't want to get the pro set, get the simple set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers without even scratching them because of the soft edges on them. All right, we're going to leave that on one side. Now what we're going to do, you know, on the bottom cover, we're going to see two screws available right in front of you. So we're going to remove these two tiny screws. Keep them in one pile, so don't mix it with different ones. And then there's uh, four screws that are hitting in here. One under each corner, one right there, 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 and here. To remove those screws, you have to lift up these adhesive uh, rubbers right here. Lift them up a little bit, and you're going to expose the uh, tiny black screws. Remove the black screw right there, one on each corner. Go ahead and do this for one every corner. Again, if you guys like my videos and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions in the comment area. Alright, once we remove the screws right there, all you need to do is to grab the laptop and you want to stick the guitar pick to one corner of the back end. We're going to stick it right there, about two or three millimeters inward, and we're going to twist it towards the outside and we're going to hear a few clicks. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do the same thing all around to the left and right side and in the front end of the laptop. So you want to twist. So we did the left or right, whatever, depending how you're looking at. And we're going to work ourselves to the front end of the laptop. And we're going to do the other side. And there we have it. Once you did all this both sides and the front, you want to grab it and lift up the bottom cover. Simple as that. Right, down here you're going to see the whole battery right in front of you. The model for the battery is an HW03XL. But if you want a replacement part number from the HP, that would be right here is an L93300-005. If you want to purchase it from directly from HP, that's the part number they're going to ask you for. But if you want to buy it of AliExpress or Amazon, you want to look at HW03XL. To remove the battery, there's a few screws that you have to remove. There's one right in the corner. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There's no screw right here. So go ahead and remove all these screws. These are a little bit short screws, don't worry. All right, once you remove the screws, uh, all you need to do is to grab the battery from the neck right here and bring it up. And that's how you're going to remove the battery. Simple as that. All right, let's say you got the new battery, as this is a brand new laptop. You want to bring it on, align the one corner right there, put everything nicely in place, and bring it down, align it straight. And you want to push here toward the jack gently, so it makes a connection right there. And then you want to put the screws back on. 
Remember, once you do this and you want to power on the laptop, it might take about five to 10 seconds to boot up because once you remove the battery, there's no, there is no CMOS battery in here. So the BIOS it uses the internal battery to keep itself alive. So it might have to reset, it will reset the BIOS to default options. So it will not make any uh, changes to your system or anything like that. So it will take to five to 10 seconds. Once you have the battery in there, all you need to do, grab the cover, align it on top, and you wanna push it down the corner. Make sure you hit those click, push the side, and push the corners right there. Now, once you open it up and you see a little gap openings right like this in here, you wanna open up the screen, you wanna see this gap here, you wanna grab it and pinch it together, and you wanna hit those clicks. That means the plastic is getting in place. So there's one right there. And there we have it. And the last thing would be to just grab the bottom screws, put them on the bottom cover. I hope you guys liked this video and it helped you guys out to do your own upgrade or replacement for the battery for your laptop HP 15-EH series. If you did like this video, you know what to do, click that like and subscribe. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up this screw. All right, I'm gonna power on, make sure that it goes to the, it turns on. So I'm gonna power on and I'm gonna, let us see, it takes about five to 10 seconds and we should get an HP logo right in front of us. So give it a little time. It might reset once. So it's still on, I see the light on, but no image. So I'm gonna still wait for a few seconds. So don't panic or anything like that. There you go. It says CMOS checksum invalid. CMOS will reset. It's set to default values because we have removed the enter to restart the computer. And that's all to it. So once you do this, it will just restart and it will go to the windows normally. So there we have the HP logo and we have the desktop ready to go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.